Hey guys, Nate here from Leviathan Studios. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to take this photo and make this photo. All right, to get started, I'm gonna be using GIMP, uh, the software that I use for this, and there's a link right here or a link in the description below. I already have it open, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to File and select the file that I want to edit. All right, and to start off with making the laser effect here, I have to go to layer and select new layer and then make sure it's on transparent. All right, now I'm going to select the free select tool and select roughly just outside of where the lightsaber's blade should be. All right, now that we have that done, I'm gonna go and select the paint tool and then change the color to the color that we want the lightsaber to blade to be. And obviously, since this one is blue, I'm gonna select a very bright color of blue. All right, now I've got my color selected. I'm gonna go to the options for the tool menu and make the uh, paintbrush size very large so that it fills in the entire blade. All right, go ahead and fill that in here. Next, I'm going to go to select and click select none. And then I'm gonna to go to filters, Gaussian blur, and then let's click here and find the blade. There it is. And I'm gonna move the blur up to about 70. All right, we've got the blur now and then it's gonna go ahead and load it here. All right, so the next step is going to layer and selecting a new layer and then transparent again, just like the last time. All right, now basically we're repeating the same steps but for the inside of the blade and with white. So I'm gonna take the free select tool and I'm going to select the inside of the blade. It Really this varies depending on how you want to do this but I generally fill up most of the blade with white. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that here. All right, next we're gonna go to the paint tool like we did last time, but we're gonna select the color and just make it white and GIMP already has all these whites open, so just click one of those. And then we already have the paint brush size up high, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in here. And you can see the lightsaber blade is starting to take shape now. So after we're done with that, you're gonna go back to select none. All right. And then we're gonna go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur again. And then now we're going to blur it. All right, we already have the blade here. I'm gonna blur it at about 40. Really the blurring is up to you depending on how harsh or how not harsh you want the blade to look. And if you want to in your brick films, you can vary that for each frame and make it look like the lightsaber's buzzing. All right, now we've got the lightsaber blade. So we're going to uh, save it and you can either just export it as a new photo or just overwrite the photo that you're already doing. And usually I overwrite the photo just so that I can have all the photos in the brick film already pre-made, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new uh, photo here and I'm gonna call that laser pick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Uh, and you don't wanna have quality 100% because you want a nice photo. So we're done with that. And that is how you create a laser effect uh, frame by frame in your brick film. I use this for my Stormtrooper brick film and for my Iron Man brick film. So you can use this for a lot of different things, not just lightsabers. All right, well, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.